In this video, we're looking at the question 16 from the 2022 paper one for the further maths GCSE. So it's given us a pair of simultaneous equations and it says, do not use trial and improvement, but solve the equation. So looking at these two straight away, I know that the elimination method won't be a particularly good one. So I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to take this first one and rearrange it into a form where I can substitute. And I think if we add y to both sides, we're going to get ourselves into an equation where we can substitute x into the second one. So I'm going to substitute 1 into 2. I'm just going to label it there so anyone reading my working knows exactly what I'm doing. So we're going to end up with y bracket y plus 19 over 4, and that equals negative 3. So I'm going to expand this y squared plus 19 over 4y, and I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So we've got ourselves a quadratic equation. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 to clear the fraction. So we're going to end up with 4y squared plus 19y plus 12 equals 0. So I'm going to factorise this. So I'm going to multiply the last term by 4 and then factorise it as if I was just paying attention to this as just a normal quadratic. So pairs of numbers that multiply to give me 48, so 1 and 48, negative 1, negative 48, dot, dot, dot. But straight away I can see we've got 3 and 16. So inside my brackets, I'm going to put 4y plus 3, 4y plus 16. Now, as I've multiplied one of these, oh, sorry, as I've multiplied by 4, I'm going to have to divide either one of these brackets by 4 or both of these brackets by 2. Now, straight away, I can see the right hand bracket we can divide by 4. So we're going to end up with 4y plus 3 and y plus 4 equals 0. So we're going to get a value for y. So either y equals negative 3 quarters or y equals negative 4. So now we've got this. We can substitute these values into one of our other equations and calculate what we have for x. So let me do it up here. When y equals negative 3 quarters, I think substituting it into the first one would be easiest. So we're going to end up with x plus because a negative times a negative or a negative subtract something is a positive. So that very badly, but you get the gist. 19 over 4. So x equals 16 over 4, which is 4. When y is negative 4, I think the easiest way to do this is substitute into the second one. So we're going to get negative 4 lots of x equals negative 3. So x. It's going to be three quarters. And you should ideally write these pairs out at the end. So we're going to have x equals four, y equals negative three quarters, x equals three quarters, y equals negative four. 